20-year-old, fearless throughout the game. Will the pressure get to him now? Oh, it certainly won't, will it? And if it did, he certainly used it as fuel to motor him towards that goal. A wonderful bit of stick handling there in front of Kel Harmer. Just slid it underneath the sledge with the right blade. And then beautifully lofted it in with the left. Caressed that puck fantastically. Did Niles Larch. A bit of history to be made in this one as well with Lena Schroeder, the only female para ice hockey athlete out of the 135 here in Pyeongchang, looks to take to the ice. The only second female to do so, the first being Bree Myasen Oyen back in 1994. His arms were an inch longer. He may have just won the bronze medal for Italy. Oh, goal side now. It's Jung Sung Wan. They're on their feet as he goes round the back. Pull the puck, and that is the goal. Eruption at the Gang Noon Hockey Centre. Lee Jong Kyung may have just won an historic bronze medal for the Republic of the Korea on home ice at a Paralympic Winter Games. Is this a legal goal though? That's the only question. And I guarantee you, they'll have a look at it. Forget all the action and excitement going on here right now. That goes off the sled. There's celebration and delight here from the Koreans. We'll look at it again. Jang Dong Shin, the service out. And I think that's gonna count. He wanted to get it with his shooting arm. And instead, it arrives a little bit late and it goes off his sled. I think that's incidental direction of the puck and therefore I believe it's going to be a good goal. Here. Goal! It is a goal. Jonathan Morrison has pointed to the centre. And it was almost like a coronation there when the Koreans saluted the crowd after the goal. And it'll stand. Is that the moment where the Koreans bag bronze? Ken Babby, he's as emotional as he's been at any point in this tournament. He is right at the front of the bench there. That's his coaching style. Wants to be at the front line as the Canadians continue to pursue. Bridget, big chance, saves oh, the first goal. He's in. Steve Cash could not get enough purchase on it. And the sting of the shot from Billy Bridges has given Canada the advantage in the gold medal game with less than three minutes remaining in the first period. Bridges basically just burrows a hole in the arm of Steve Cash here. There's enough force in this shot that it just drills right through Cash. And he finds a way just to open up the left-hand side here. And that is just about shooting to score, shooting to put the puck right to the back of the building. And it might not have been the most accurate shot that Bridges has ever taken. As you watch the exhale there from Babby, that is massive. The Americans still with hope. Wallace cannons into the center. They've got to manage this puck better because they've got the open goal behind them. Now it's Roybal ghosting away from one. Roybal's got options square. It's come back. Panic. Farmer! What is going on? Declan Farmer! 37 seconds left on the clock. Has caused carnage here at the Gang Noon Hockey Center. It looked like it was never going to go in and Canada couldn't sweep it away and Farmer had no choice this time, he had to hit it first time and LaRock is finally beaten, Canada won, USA won. What a devastating strike here late with 37.8 remaining and Royable and Farmer arrive and create the chaos here as one provides to the other, they bookend an equalizing goal in the last minute and you could almost see 
From Farmer's face, a tear in his eye. It was like an emotional exhale.